last week we began this blog concerning how to make an effective appeal to someone that's in authority over you. And, and uh, we're going to present seven principles for, when presenting a wise and effective appeal. We all understand we're to operate under authority. No one can, it, when you operate out from underneath authority, then you're going to get yourself in trouble uh, with God and, and the enemy is going to lie to you and deceive you. So how do you make these appeals? There's seven principles on making the appeal, a godly appeal. Number one, make sure you're right standing with God and that you're in right standing with your authority. <clears throat> in other words, if you have ought with that authority, you should go to them and them alone and talk it through and make sure you're right standing with God and you're right standing with your authorities. Ask yourself the following question. Have you been obedient to your authority? Have you, when, when he asked you to do something, have you followed their leadership? Now, husband over wife, has the wife been obedient to their husband's authority? If she's been a rebellion, in rebellion, your, your appeal won't go anywhere. If children, you make a wise appeal to your parents. Have you will operate in obedience to your parents? Um, ask yourself the following questions. Uh, um, it's 1 Samuel 15, 22 to 23 says, and Samuel said, hath the Lord... Well, think about this. Hath the Lord his great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is iniquity and idolatry. So make sure that you don't get yourself in a position where you have a rebellious heart. Make sure you're right with God and that you're right with those who are in authority over you. Do you have a clear conscience? Ask yourself, do you have a clear conscience? But the Bible says in Acts 24, 16, and here and do I exercise myself to always have a conscience void of offense toward God and toward men. In other words, I should not do things that offend others, knowing it's going to offend them, without having sat down and made my godly appeal in humility. Have you fulfilled your responsibilities with integrity and excellence? You, know, you understand that, okay? So if you're underneath your husband, underneath your parents, underneath your pastor, underneath the boss on your job, underneath your government, have they seen that you have been a responsible person with integrity and excellence? The Bible tells us in Colossians 3, 22 through 24, Servants obey your in all things, in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that the Lord shall receive the reward of inheritance for you serve the Lord Christ. Another, you should be able to confidently answer each of these questions with an affirmative response. So. I've asked you these raise these questions, and if you can answer them confidently, uh, each of them with an affirmative response, then guess what? You're ready to move on to make your appeal to your authority, okay? And we'll take up here next week, all right?